Another really nice feature in Final Cut Pro X is that you can very quickly walk through the different clips while you're playing them. So I've got these three clips lined up here. Mark. And while I'm playing them, I just Cowboys press the down yes. arrow. And it automatically uh, updates to the next Cowboys clip or up Cowboys arrow name. to go to the previous okay. clip. Uh, and so it's very quickly and easy. This is a big improvement over Final Cut Pro 7 where you had to double click each item to open it into the viewer and then begin playing it here. The only disadvantage is that it doesn't remember where the playhead is. So as you're uh, playing, it always is going to start in. right yes. at the beginning, uh, uh, which is two monkeys a little bit difficult. But uh, that's actually part of it. A bigger concern in general is that Final Cut never remembers where your playhead is when you move from one clip to another. It also won't remember where the in and out points are. But nonetheless, this is a nice feature to be able to audition your clips like this, not to be confused with the term auditioning, which we'll cover a little bit later uh, when you're actually creating a special Final Cut Pro entity called an audition. I'm just talking about being able to quickly review different shots, walk through them uh, using those arrow keys while the clips are playing. And again, in, in, in practical situations, this can be a real benefit to be able to look through a lot of footage very quickly and easily.